I'm gonna take the cork out of the queen cage. What happens if you accidentally push the cork in instead of out? Yeah, sometimes you tear the cork apart doing that. So if the cork, if the cork went inside the cage and then you pointed the cage down, it would block the entrance. Now the queen can't come out, right? So if the cork went into the cage, what I want to do is make sure that the cork is at the other end so the queen, queen can crawl out. I'll put some honey over the entrance for now. So here's what we do now. So I'll put this in here like this so the cork is at the bottom of the cage. The queen, queen can crawl out the top, unobstructed. Yes, this cork is inside there. Sometimes you'll get a, a, a queen cage that comes with with attendants inside the cage. If there's attendants, uh, sometimes they'll die. So if I were to point the queen cage down, entrance down, and one of the uh, attendants inside the cage died, it would block the entrance and the queen couldn't get out, mm -hmm. right? So if there's a cork in there or if there's attendants be, attendant bees, then make sure the entrance or exit in this case for the queen bee is pointing up. This okay. is a this is a good example here. Look at this. Are you just if you're still video? Yeah. There's an attendant bee inside this cage with the queen. So if I were to attempt to release this queen with the cage facing down, the exit facing down, that dead bee would fill up the hole and the queen might not be able to get out. So in this case, I want to put the queen in here with that dead bee at the bottom of the cage and the exit at the top. 